my god. We were gonna walk this morning. Problem is, we got two problems actually. The first problem is that it's kind of windy. I mean, not windy. Um, smoky. There's um, wildfires. I'm in California, Southern California, and there's some wildfires going on all around me, so we're going to have to make this a quick one. Activity started. Go as far as we can go. And um, get back inside because it's not healthy to breathe here. Especially now with all my coughing. I'm just starting my little programs here. Oh, I think I have to do it on the watch. Let's see. Okay, here we go. So let's hit it, guys. Um, not sure what's going on with my headset. Uh -uh. Not connected to my phone. It really smells like, I mean, it smells like the fire is right here, guys. Just a uh, <laughs> gopher hole. He just dug that hole, it looked like. Busy, busy, busy. here. Alexis is about 43 degrees out here right now. Yeah, and I don't have no sleeves. So I'm hoping that I'm hoping that we can get up a brisk uh, pace so that um, so that we can get a little warm up going in my body. I'm not usually cold. Sorry about that. I'm usually hot because I go through uh, symptoms of menopause. I guess you can see. Yeah. <laughs> out here. <sighs> um, well, I didn't walk yesterday. I didn't walk the day before yesterday. <coughs> I'm going to tell you why. What happened was uh, I started out day before yesterday walking and it was very windy. So uh, when I when I got back to edit the video, all I heard was the wind blowing. I could hear myself, but for the most part, uh, all I saw, uh, all I heard was the wind. That was the dominating uh, sound in the video. So I wasn't able to upload that one. I'm trying to figure out. Um, I'm trying to figure out a, a 
software or um, someplace online that I can go to and uh, be able to um, basically single out all those different sounds and uh, get rid of the one that I don't want. I know it can be done. It has to be able to be done. I refuse to believe not. I don't know if you guys can see all of this. Um, oh, she's interrupting me. <laughs> uh, oh, I guess we're going to play ball today. We got the gate open. Um, shucks. <laughs> she interrupted me. I couldn't remember what I was saying. We're gonna play a game here. I always like to stop and <laughs> look behind me, make sure nobody's following me. You know, <laughs> um, there was a movie some years ago, and it starred. Um, my favorite guy, Nicolas Cage. And the title of the movie was The Weatherman. But what was interesting about it was uh, Nick Cage was a weatherman. But it seemed to me that he was about to snap or he had already snapped because uh, he carried around this uh, bow and arrow set. Just walking around the streets of New York, I guess, wherever he was living, with this, uh, he had the arrows on his back, and uh, he, I guess he carried the bow. Honey, that was something else. But the reason why I brought that up right now is because, um, you know, I'm carrying around this stick. And um, I was thinking, if I get a little bit smaller, well, the smaller I get, the bigger my stick has to get. Because I want to be able to defend myself. And, you know, this is just a, probably could bend this in half as soon as I hit somebody in the head. Probably not a good idea to be out here walking. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's just, it's this, it's this haze. It's a haze. This is all over the valley. Um, where I live, is surrounded by mountains. They, which is why they call this the valley, because we're like a giant salad bowl. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So when it's windy, you know, it's more windy here because the wind uh, kind of it kind of collects down here, kind of swooshes in here, <laughs> inside the bowl. So the wind comes through, it's blowing, it blows over the mountains and then swooshes in through the valley and swirls around here a little bit and then it goes away. Yeah, so, so um, it's, uh, <laughs> it's um we I don't know I don't want to say we get the brunt of everything but it seems like we do because we're surrounded by mountains it gets hotter here 
then in Los Angeles. Uh, it gets windier here. We get, you know, big wind gusts. So in the news today, they were saying we're going to have winds 44 miles an hour today. So that's something. What are all these baskets? This is the, there's another basket right there. What's the fascination with the baskets? Shopping carts. Uh, this neighborhood is going down, baby. Mm. So, um, I, um, I did learn a little bit more about my camera. So, I'm kind of excited about that. I did upload a movie. Uh, it was, uh, pardon me. It was actually um, pretty straightforward. I had already decided on my music and uh, and um, I was trying to see what this is in the street. I uh, had already found my music. I didn't want to do anything fancy because I'm still learning. So I was able to uh, add the music and it's still not as easy as Kinemaster uh, which is the other uh, editing software it's not as simple as Kinemaster but um, it's I guess it's doing what I need to do it's called it's called video pad and uh, yeah, so I'm trying to figure out where that noise is coming from. It must be an airplane. I don't know what that is. Like a, I thought it was a. Uh, I thought it was a. Uh, a helicopter or something but no but I couldn't really see see what it was I could only hear it I didn't mean to make that, oh, sorry, make that lady walk in the street but she must have thought I was going to hit her with this pole <laughs> but um, back to that <laughs> I um uh, I was saying I wanted to get something bigger uh, to carry, but I don't know what the laws are like as far as carrying a weapon. <laughs> but, well, obviously it wouldn't be a weapon. I'm not talking about walking around with a AK-47 or AR-15. I'm talking about maybe a bat you know, or uh, one of those metal bats, <laughs> um, or uh, let's see, a bat, oh, a golf club, um, I can't, I can't think of anything else that I could carry around on the street <laughs> without the police stopping me. Well, they don't stop me with this stick. So. We did good. We're at the top of the hill now. Ooh, that's a black person. So peaceful around here on Saturdays and Sundays. It's really quiet. If, can you guys see? Darn it! I'm wearing the wrong fucking. Ah! 
I wonder if I can record it with my camera, my phone too. I want you guys to see, um, you know, my cell phone service has been off for a long time. When I say a long time, I mean like uh, since last night. Okay, so there's the picture I wanted to show you guys. I don't think I can get it any bigger. I'm going to take a picture and I'm going to... Alright. I'm not taking a picture. I'm actually recording. But that is um, all of, all of, you can see all of that right there is smoke. Um, and then behind it you can see that ridge looks like a ridge or something that's actually the mountains and the smoke has risen looks like halfway through the mountain that's crazy I wish we could see this from above <laughs> you probably couldn't see anything huh okay let's get out of here because we got some more people running and walking and I don't look like I'm with the program if I'm standing here taking pictures Right? I'm about, I'm about that exercise life. Oh, um, I made for the first time in my life sea scallops yesterday for dinner. I made them with a couple of, a couple of, I don't say things of shrimp, but a couple of uh, shrimp some, uh, I had some, well, I had spaghetti, but it was supposed to be angel hair pasta. It tasted okay, but, um, I was very excited because, <coughs> excuse me, what is that card doing? Yeah. Uh, I was very excited because I told you that I watch uh, Hell's Kitchen and um, that's one of the dishes that's on Gordon Ramsay's uh, menu, sea scallops. So, you know, I've been watching it and watching it and, and uh, so I said to myself, hey, every time I see them making those scallops, they look so good because they get them seared on both sides. Oh, and they look good. Anyway, so I splurged a little and got myself a half a pound of sea scallops because they were like, uh, let's see, how much were they a pound? They were like 19 something a pound. And I was like, ooh, uh-uh. So I only got uh, half a pound. Okay, this is the other entrance, but we're not gonna go in here. We're gonna go back around to where I live. I don't wanna walk on base, because I just don't wanna walk on base. You know, in Los Angeles, where I used to live, they had um, these guys that used to drive around in these uh, pickup trucks and they would um, collect these shopping carts, you know, for the grocery store. But I guess they don't have that here. I haven't seen any here. But actually, this is the first time I've seen shopping carts around here. This person doesn't know how to drive. Look at him. She's just driving down the middle. Oh yeah, that's the person who just did the Yui in the middle of the street. Oh, scared me. That me a little bit. I came up behind me. Well, I'm not running, so I'm gonna have to Watch out for that. Sorry, keep touching my. I'm sorry, guys. 
today is the 10th. It certainly smells like Thanksgiving out here. <laughs> There's nobody cooking. Now. <laughs> but uh, I'm looking forward to it. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I haven't been uh, officially invited anywhere. But I ain't going to let that stop me. No, indeed. Somebody's going to feed me. So either that or I'm going to buy myself a Cornish hen and make my own little Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah. Okay, we got to get back in because I don't know how much of this, uh, um, you know, smoke that I'm inhaling. So, get back in the house. And, uh, gotta, how do you clear out your lungs? You know, people say that all the time. They talk about, uh, uh, you know, fire. Excuse <coughs> me. When there's a fire or something like that. And, uh, you know, to tell people you, you know, to get that, uh, do they call it smoke inhalation? There's that car again. Or that sound. Oh, that would be irritating to me. If I lived with that person, you could hear him coming and hear him leaving. Brittany's father <laughs> used to ride a motorcycle. And um, where he worked at, you know, I think he had to, where did he work? I think it was the time to mirror press. I, I'm not exactly sure where he worked, but that's not important to the story. What's important to the story is he had to get up and like, I don't know, either he had to get up and be there at five o'clock in the morning or, you know, he was getting home. Uh, if he had a different shift, he was getting home at like 11, 12 o'clock at night. And um, he was driving his motorcycle. And <laughs> I used to be embarrassed for him because he didn't really care. But he would be down there, you know, super early in the morning, uh, starting his damn motorcycle. And it was old, so he had to let it warm up. It's not like he could just start it and leave because that really wouldn't bother the neighbors as much. But that was, wow. Anyway, uh, yeah, so he would start the motorcycle and then, you know, it was, it would just be running and running and running. And what was funny was, um, my neighbors, you know, he'd be at work by this time and maybe I'm doing laundry or I'm, I don't know, I'm just out around the apartment building, just kind of, you know, being at home. <laughs> and um, my neighbors would see me like, I heard Pierre Lee this morning, you know, that kind of stuff. I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> he wants to work. That, like, whatever. So yeah, um, I remember that. And you know, I remember a lot of the other things about my childhood that, um, that I didn't think I remembered. You know, I'd be sitting there like, wow, I forgot all about that, you know, that kind of thing. So they needed grass cutting, huh? They really need that grass done. I guess uh, we don't cut their grass. Huh, very interesting. Very interesting. So we're almost uh, back, guys. We've been walking for 23 minutes. I hope that's not too long. Well, you guys won't get any 
Can you just crap in your lungs? Because you're just watching me on screen. But, uh, just know no dogs allowed. Oh, also, guys, if you could for me, um, tell me, uh, how you're watching me. I'm trying to gather information about um, about my viewers or my target audience, they call them. Uh, so I just wanted to know. Um, well, first of first of all, where everybody lives. I live in North Hills, California, and I just like to know you know, who's reaching out to me, who am I reaching out to, let me know down in the comments. And then the other thing is how you are watching me. Are you using a laptop? Are you using a tablet? Are you using your cell phone? Or I don't know whatever else they got out there. Virtual reality? <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I'd love to know uh, how you guys are watching me. So I can get some deep down information. I'm glad to have risen to 35, uh, 37, excuse me, 37 subscribers. Uh, YouTube sent me a letter, well, sent me an email. Congratulations. Well, they congratulated me on 35. After the email, I got two more. Yeah, I think we're going to have some baseball games today, which is surprising with all of this uh, bad air. So my groceries are coming between 8 and 10. So that ought to be fun. I got some... Brussels sprouts come in and some spinach and something else green. Oh, uh, broccolini. <laughs> I didn't even know there was such thing as broccolini. Well, that's what I get for watching fine dining television shows. All right, guys. Uh, maybe I'll just carry you all in with me, okay? I gotta go by my mailbox. Actually, no, I don't. I already know what's in there. some Christmas decorations up. One thing to do with Christmas. I'm gonna have to flip it. Maybe she might be doing something for Christmas. What do 
gonna use the gift to see Brittany on Christmas. Um, I think her and her uh, fiance, I think they go to Las Vegas to spend time with his family. Um, one of the joys of being in a relationship, you gotta visit your family and then you gotta visit your, fa your partner's family. <sighs> Mm. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I'm sorry my apartment looks like it looks, <laughs> but um, it is what it is. I do plan on cleaning it up, but uh, uh, yesterday my blood pressure went up a little bit, uh, went down actually, um, kind of low, 54 over 88, I think it was, and uh, I had to do some things to... Uh, raised my pressure because I was getting dizzy and feeling kind of fatigued. So that's why my apartment looks like it looks. <laughs> and um, I'll just see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.